In a world where digital warfare rages silently behind every touchscreen and keystroke, securing your personal battlefield, your phone, is no longer optional. Welcome to Cybernetic Warfare Frontlines, where today, we're diving deep into configuring Graphene OS, the most hardened Android OS on the planet. Whether you're an intelligence analyst, ethical hacker, or just someone ready to take control of your cyber defenses, this episode is your full playbook. Why Graphene OS? Why now? Most people glide through life trusting their phones to do everything. But under that shiny glass screen, countless risks lurk. Rogue apps, supply chain compromises, data leaks, and even targeted cyber intrusions. Graphene OS was built as a response, an open source security focused Android fork designed to lock down your device, harden your data privacy, and let you operate in a world where digital surveillance and cyber espionage are daily threats. But here's the catch. Out of the box, Graphene OS is powerful, but underutilized. Many users set it up like they would any other phone, missing the advanced features that truly elevate it into a hardened fortress. That's where today's guide comes in. User Profiles Your first line of defense Before installing any app, before tweaking any setting, you need to understand the core concept that will shape your phone's security. User Profiles These aren't just fancy folders. On Graphene OS, user profiles allow you to create isolated sandboxes, each walled off from the other, preventing apps and processes from crossing boundaries. The owner profile, often called primary, is your administrative account. But don't fall into the trap of using this for daily activities. Think of it as the root account on a secure system, Necessary, powerful, but too risky to use casually. Instead, set up a main profile for daily tasks, a finance profile exclusively for banking and sensitive transactions, perhaps even a kid's profile if younger users will interact with the device. Journalists, NGO workers, and political activists often go a step further, creating decoy profiles filled with innocuous data. So if the phone falls into adversarial hands, there's something plausible to show while the real information stays hidden behind other layers. The beauty here? If you need to wipe a profile, you can delete it without touching the rest of the system. This is critical when crossing borders or operating in hostile environments, where authorities may demand access to your device. A quick profile wipe leaves nothing sensitive exposed, and unlike handing over a blank phone which raises red flags, you hand over a device with believable non-compromising content, locking down networks and communications. Once your profiles are set, it's time to focus on communications, the favorite attack vector of surveillance tools and man-in-the-middle intrusions. By default, many devices aggressively scan for Wi-Fi networks even when you're not connected, broadcasting metadata that can be picked up by rogue access points. On Graphene OS, head into the network settings and disable auto-connect to Wi-Fi, disable automatic Wi-Fi scanning, and disable public network notifications. Rename your hotspot to something generic. Never use your real name or identifying info and set a strong but memorable password. A great trick is to use multi-word passphrases with hyphens, something like Iron Dragon Coffee or Silent Orbit Storm. These are easy to share verbally but much harder to crack. Bluetooth deserves special attention. For most users, it's wise to set Bluetooth to shut off after brief periods of inactivity. But power users might keep it on due to headsets or other peripherals. Either way, change your device's Bluetooth name to something neutral and ensure that when not needed, NFC and cloud printing services are disabled entirely. Every open port or protocol is a potential vulnerability. Mastering storage scopes and file access, one of Graphene OS's signature weapons is storage scopes. The ability to assign each app its own private folder, blocking it from snooping through your other files. This is an enormous upgrade from stock Android, where many apps request broad storage access they don't truly need. Go into your Privacy Permissions Manager, locate each app and manually configure its storage scope. Set a unique folder under Downloads just for that app, or if you have related apps working together, like a video editor and camera, create a shared subfolder. With this approach, even if one app is compromised, it can't touch data outside its lane. Also, remember to globally disable sensor permissions for apps that don't need them, and ensure that camera and microphone permissions are only granted on an as-needed basis. 
While you're at it, switch off the show password setting to avoid flashing sensitive inputs on the screen and turn on clipboard access alerts so you're always aware when an app tries to read your copied text. Authentication. The biometrics debate. Let's talk fingerprints and pins. This is where your personal threat model comes into play. If your primary concern is pickpockets or device thieves, biometrics like fingerprints can provide strong protection. They're fast, convenient, and no one can shoulder surf your pin in a crowded subway. But if your concern is border agents, police, or sophisticated attackers who can coerce you, biometrics can become a liability. You can't be forced to reveal a password you don't know, but you can be forced to press a finger to a sensor. For most users, the best balance is combining both. A strong pin, preferably scrambled so the input layout changes, plus fingerprints for quick, low-risk access. Decide whether you want your camera available from the lock screen. We recommend disabling that, forcing a full unlock for sensitive functions. Configuring quick settings for on-the-fly control. Here's where we move from defensive setup to operational agility. Graphene OS allows you to customize your quick settings, letting you toggle sensitive permissions right from the drop-down menu. Add microphone and camera access controls to your top row. That way, before a private conversation or confidential meeting, you can instantly shut down hardware level access, giving you a level of assurance few mainstream devices can match. Also consider adding VPN toggles and user profile switches to this quick panel, letting you jump between hardened environments with just a swipe and a tap. Installing apps, safely and strategically. A hardened phone is only as secure as the apps it runs. Many users flock to F-Droid for open source apps, but here's the catch. The F-Droid client often lags behind the latest repository versions and can create compatibility headaches when used across multiple profiles. Instead, consider NeoStore, a faster, more polished client that taps into the same F-Droid repository, but provides enhanced filters, cleaner updates, and better permission transparency. Once installed, sync its repository and explore its categorized, regularly updated app lists. Need Google Play apps? Use Aurora Store, which gives you access to the Play ecosystem without needing a Google account on the device. Just be aware that Google increasingly rate limits anonymous logins, so you may need to supply a throwaway account for sustained access. Importantly, install Google Play services sandboxed within its own profile. Don't pollute your secure environment with unnecessary background trackers. Fine-tuning browser and install permissions. Once you've finished installing your core apps, circle back and remove install permissions from your web browser. This small but critical step ensures that even if your browser is compromised, it can't sideload malicious APKs in the background. If you need occasional app installs via browser, temporarily re-enable the permission or designate a secondary browser, like a hardened Firefox fork, solely for downloads and maintenance tasks. Going beyond advanced defense layers. For users looking to push Graphene OS to its limits, there are plenty of extra hardening measures. Integrate WireGuard VPN configurations for encrypted tunneling. Explore Micro-G or sandboxed play services for minimal Google exposure. Or pair the device with hardened external tools like YubiKeys or hardware wallets. Regularly audit your app permissions and review the Graphene OS project's change logs to stay ahead of emerging threats. Remember, cyber defense is not a one-time setup. It's an ongoing practice. The big picture. Building a cyber-resilient lifestyle. Securing a device like this is more than a technical exercise. It's about adopting a mindset. In today's digital conflict zones, whether you're protecting sensitive research, defending dissident communications, or simply safeguarding your privacy, every layer you add makes you a harder target. Graphene OS isn't magic. It can't replace vigilance or wise operational security, but it gives you the best available starting point. A hardened, transparent, community-driven OS that puts you, not Silicon Valley, not intelligence agencies, not shadowy ad brokers, in control. If today's episode gave you new insights or fresh tools for your cyber defense arsenal, smash that like button and subscribe to Cybernetic Warfare Frontlines. This is where we dissect the technologies shaping tomorrow's digital battles and teach you how to survive them. Stay sharp, stay hardened, and we'll see you on the front lines.